In the previous steps, we talked about Maven downloading the dependencies from different repositories. So where are these repositories present and how does the whole thing work? That's basically what we would understand in this step. When you talk about Maven, there are two important concepts that you need to understand. One is called the local repository and the other one is called the remote Maven repository. You have a local repository. This local repository is on your local system. So whether it's your laptop, desktop, this repository is on your local system. And remote uh, Maven repository is kind of a central repository. So there are a set of repositories over on the internet where all the versions of different dependencies are stored. So for example, if you take JUnit, there might be multiple versions of JUnit present. So these repositories store all the different versions of JUnit that are present. In your pom.xml, whenever you say, I need JUnit 4.2, what happens is specific version of JUnit from the remote Maven repository is copied into your local repository, which is there on your system. And the project makes use of the jar from the local repository. What we'll do is we'll now create a new Maven project. So how do you create a new Maven project in Eclipse? It's file, new, and go to other, and type in Maven. So you can create a Maven project this way. File, new Maven project. And I'll say create a simple project. And you can click next. And I have to give a group ID, so I'll just say com in 28 minutes, Maven, I'll say Maven in few steps, two. And I can click finish. So this would create a Maven project for me. So Maven project is, as we talked about, basically it has a standard definition for how projects should be like. So it would create the entire structure for that. So I have the folders, main Java, main resources, test Java, test resources and you also have a pom.xml. So as we discussed earlier, we can actually put all our dependencies in the pom.xml. So now I would want to add in a dependency on JUnit, so specific version of dependency. How do I do that? I need to add in dependencies, and inside this, I would need to add in a dependency. I would want to find out what is the dependency for what JUnit. How do I do that? One of the ways you can do that is by just going to Google and just search for JUnit Maven dependency. So I'll probably take the 4.12 dependency, which is the second link which is present in here. And now I would copy the thing from here. I can copy it in. So I copied the code from there. It's basically defining a group ID, a artifact ID, and a version. So I'm saying I want to use 4.12 version of JUnit. I'll remove scope for now. So now you'd see that it's building. And if you focus on what's happening in the building, you would also see that the JUnit version is now in the Maven dependencies. Hamcrest core is one of the transitive dependencies of JUnit. That's why it's getting downloaded as well. If you look at where the JUnit folder, JUnit jar is being picked from, it's on my local system. So it says users m 2 repository JUnit JUnit 4.12. So this is where the JUnit is being picked from. So if I want to see where my local repository is, I can actually go to Eclipse Preferences, type in Maven, and you can go to User Settings. So you can see that my local repository is in user rangaravkarnam.m2 slash repository. I'll open this folder up. You can see that there are a lot of things inside this repository folder. So what happens is whenever I have created a lot of Maven projects, Whenever I put a dependency in Maven, it downloads it to this local repository. The one which we are talking about right now is JUnit. If I go to JUnit here and JUnit, this is where all the different versions of JUnit that I have used until now are stored. So you can see that I have worked extensively with JUnit. I almost have a lot of versions of JUnit which are present in here. What I'll do is actually I'll to play with it, I would actually delete, let's say 4.6. So I've deleted 4.6 version of JUnit from my local repository. So, and now I would actually switch to using 4.6 version of JUnit here. So you'd see that the build workspace takes a little while because now what is happening in the background is it's downloading the thing from the Maven repository. It's downloading from the Maven repository and then you'd see 4.6 coming up in here. So from the Maven repository, the file is downloaded 
to my local machine and you can see now that this jar is used in my local workspace. So this is how Maven works. So as soon as I change it to 4.12, this change will happen fast because this is already present in my local repository. This is already present here, so it would directly use it from there. It, there's no need to download it from a remote repository. So that's kind of a high level overview of how things work with Maven in the background. In this step, we looked at what a local Maven repository is, what a remote Maven repository is, and what happens when I specify a dependency in my project. Until the next step, bye-bye.